In uh, this video, I'll be focusing on creating a base map for um, doing data collection. So if we look in our uh, ArcGIS Online, we have these two feature layers that we created. So we have our recycling station and our natural elements. I've added some attributes and given some, some default values and so on. So we are now ready to create a map. The map can be created in many different ways. I think the easiest is to go up to this map tab and click the map. And this will then open a default map of the area. Um, you, the base map that it starts with, that's whatever you're using the last. Um, you can, uh, from base map, you can choose different base maps, which one you want to use. Um, so if you want to have a street map, you can have that. Uh, I will, uh, in this case, stable my imagery as my base map. Then you can create, you can add the layers you want for your work. So I just say search for layer here. Yeah? Um, and I will then say, I want to add, I use the little plus here yeah, to add my layers to my map. And you see they're now minus so that um, they can be removed. So I have my layers uh, on top of my, um, of my image. So that's basically the map. I can uh, press save and uh, call it um, simple map data entry oops got something wrong there uh, i want to have a category so i just add this test category so we can have that i can assign additional categories i um, will give it a tag so walk um whatever more sustainable whatever give the map um, so my data collection map and you can see it's saved down in um, in my folder to us too so and now i have my map i can also share this map so i go to this share um I can share it with the whole of um, organizations or all rook. I can share it with members of a specific group. So only those that are part of the GIS and visualization course. And when I make a sharing, you'll I'll get this little interesting update here saying that, well, these layers here are not shared uh, with the rights to be accessed um, for everyone on the course. So do I want to update the sharing of um, of my um, layers? So I said yes. So now, not only will my map be shared with the whole group, but the layers in the map are also being shared. And finally here, this gives me a link I can send to, by email to people, and they click on the link, and they will come in to my data entry map, and we can work on that. So. That's fine, I'll just say OK. And now this map is shared with that group. Um, the maps can both be used for, as we'll see later, uh, on mobile devices for data collection or for web-based data collection. I'll just show you the basics of the web-based. So if I uh, want to, I know that there is a recycling station somewhere around here. Um, apparently they, they was being created when this image was taken. So if I now say, go up and choose edit, I have my natural element lines and I have my recycling. There's just no indicator whether or not there was um, paper recycling. So in this case, there is paper recycling. So I choose the yes. And, um, and you can see it, I, I can snap if I want to do that with a control key, as it says. But I'll just place a point here and say, OK, in this place, there is both plastic and there's no glass and um, 
Note that those lists we made, they become drop downs, so I can choose. Of course, I can change my paper to a no if I wanted, even though I started as a yes, I can set that to no, and it will then change color to red. See, yes, it's green star, so that that symbology I put on it. I can write a comment. I can attach some document. That's most interesting uh, interesting in the field work, so we can attach images. So close that one. That's fine with me. I can just uh, also make a hedge row. I think there's a hedge row somewhere over here. That's hedge row here. So in case I press hedge row, and again I'll just click along to represent the extent of the hedge row. Double click to finish. Um, what is the purpose or the use of this? That is just looking nice. Write a comment. That's always, you know, good to do in the field work. And close it. So I've now made two elements. And um, in, so I have now created a new map and used this map to add two elements to my um, to my data. I don't have to press save. Um, the save is just the map, not the elements. They are saved as I go along. So I can now go and say uh, home, because I haven't made any changes to the map, so I just go and say home content. And you will see that I have now a map, and also that all of these have this G here, indicating that they are shared with the group GIS and visualization. So that was what happened when I said update sharing, that the G was added to these. And I have my individual points. And if I go in and look at one of those points, I can take detail of that one and go and look at its data. And you can see that there's already one where we have recycled plastic paper, that was that point I added before. So the data has been added um, through the use of my web map. So, relatively simple operation to set up a web map for data entry.